Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 15th through January 21st. So this is the Ask Angels deck. What you need to do is ask a question. Alright, ask a question and at the end I will reveal the card which will hopefully give the answer that you were looking for. We aren't going to use the card that fell out and I perhaps will show it to you. Do you have your question? We're going to do your guys are going to get two. Lucky you, huh? Do you have your question? This is what fell out. Within the next few months and recovery. That's what fell out for you. But we're not going to use those. We're going to get even another one. So... Because we want it to be, you know, like the others. <laughs> so, Cancer, ask a question. And at the end, we will reveal the answer. Now, if this doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest, okay? Because this is for a wide audience. It's definitely not going to um, be for every single person. I'm going to start with a general reading, and we are going to end with love, hopefully. Love could come up in the general reading part portion of it. We will see what happens. I will try to remember to zoom this in. You know, it feels like you guys are going through some kind of competition right now, whether it's an inner competition or an outer competition. There's a competition in your life. You may be trying to compete for somebody's heart, okay? That's what it looks like. It looks like, you know, you are trying to compete for somebody's love. Um, and the thing is, it feels like you're going nowhere. You probably feel like you're going nowhere, um, you know, I have to tell you that there's destiny here. There's karma here. There is a change of course on the horizon. All right. There is. It feels like you have been trying to compete or to get somebody's attention, get their love. And, you know, you, you may be involved in a third party situation. Whereas, you know, you're, you're interested in somebody or you're with somebody and they got more than they got options. Put it that way. There could also be a competition at work, you know, if this is work related, there could be some kind of competition where, you know, you, you're trying to get ahead, but you have so many people that are trying to climb the ladder as quickly as you are, you know, there's definitely a feeling of not receiving what you're worth, you know, it's like, what the hell, these people can't see, they can't see what I'm worth, they can't see all that I've done to get here, you know, and I think you've, you're t starting to come to the realization that, I might have to change my path entirely. You know, this isn't this isn't bringing me the desires that I'd hoped for. You know, you've been having hope. You have. You've been having hope that this was going to work out. And you've really been um, trying to manifest this. But it's not happening. It's like no matter what you do, you aren't on the receiving end. And you know, I see that there's regrets. <laughs> there's regrets. You probably feel quite a bit of disappointment. You feel at a loss right now. You know, I feel like you're coming out of some conflict. Maybe it's an inner conflict. Maybe you finally decided, all right, it's time for me to change my path because I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. And it's time for me to go somewhere. I, it is. It's time for me to be successful. It's time for me to be triumphant. It's time for me to drive my ship, okay? I have to move forward. And, you know, it feels like something. There's like, I'm sick of the competition. I am. 
if if this isn't if you guys can't realize if you or if you if you can't realize what I'm worth if you can't realize what I've put into this and how much uh I wished this would work out then I think I have to move on you know it feels like you guys are headed in the right direction you're probably moving out of a situation fairly quickly because it hasn't been fruitful and I feel like that's your destiny. It's your destiny to move forward. It's your destiny to master your emotions and take charge in your own life. It is. I feel like you have a change of course on the, on the horizon. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to what you are destined to have. And that might mean that you have to close a door a dis that, that led to disappointment. Okay? I feel like... There is a lack of uh, contentment in a situation. You're so discontent with not receiving what you thought you were going to receive that you're like, I can't. This rejection is overwhelming and it's time for me to fly. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. This is meant to be, by the way. It's meant to be. Whatever is falling apart is meant to be. Because we have the tower on the bottom of the deck. Okay? We have the tower. Okay? You've been, you've been trying to keep this together. You have. It's like I've been trying and trying and trying to be the glue that holds this together. But the fact of the matter is, the glue is old and it doesn't stick and it's not sticking it's just not gluing it's not working out it's like where the hell did this glue come from because it's not working okay this this thing that is falling apart is destiny and i'm sorry it's because you have victory elsewhere okay it's a time of transformation it's time for you to replace the fear of you know, where you've been, it's like, I'm comfortable here, I'm comfortable here, you know, and that's where the fear is, you're comfortable where you're at, even though it's not fulfilling, so the thing is, is it's time for you to come out of this conflict and bring balance back to your life, I feel for some of you, you're dealing with three people, you and two others, you know, and you've got to the point where you, three's a crowd, Now we're going to try to focus on love and see what comes up. It just feels like you haven't been receiving. You haven't been on the receiving end and you've, you, your, your eyes are starting to open. It's time to move on. It's like, I, it's time. It's time for me to fly. It's time for me to fly. There's no more growth. It's like a, no matter what I do to keep this together, to, to make this grow, to, to prove to you, no matter what I do to prove to you, it's not working out. It's not. It's like I, I've given you all that I can give. I've given you all that I can give and you're just not accepting it. It's like no, somebody is not accepting this new beginning or this new life with you. They're not accepting the the gifts that you have to offer. It's like they're not even realizing all the truth. You know, and I think that you've put a lot of effort into it and now you've been you've been trying to pretend that everything is going to get better. All right, I'm just going to fake it. I'm going to I'm going to fake it. I'm going to fake it until we make it. We're going to fake it. We're going to fake it. And as long as we fake it, you know, it's going to turn into something. We're going to stick this out. We're going to work it out. We're going to we're going to do whatever we can do to make this work. And it's all an illusion. All right. The thing is, is right now, it feels like there's some codependency issues. There's codependency. That's the that's part of the issue. That I cannot leave this situation. For one, I don't want to be alone. One, two is better than one. And that's part of the issue. Thing is, is you're not loving yourself by doing this. You're not. 
You're not loving yourself. There's no more growth in this situation. You're like at a place where there's no love. It's like there's you were hoping that it was love, but it doesn't look like that it is. And I'm desperately sorry to tell you that. Um, there you are. And you're here too. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Taurus as well. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Um, somebody is withdrawn and somebody is feeling like a victim. And, you know, they have, the thing is, is there is love. There's love to within you. You have love to offer. You are trying to offer love but the person that you're dealing with is not accepting it, okay? They're not accepting it. They're not like, giving you the chance that that you deserve, all right? So I feel like you've, you've given it a lot. You really have. I feel like you've put in a lot of effort into this and you've put in a lot of time. And now you've, you've come to the point where I guess it's time for me to fly to free myself from this situation because or from this burden because it's fake and I don't want to compete I don't want to compete for your love I don't want to compete for your attention I don't I don't you know three is a crowd I just I don't want this anymore but the thing is is you have so much love to offer and that's why where where the problems lie it's like you are so hurt I feel like you are so hurt, like somebody has taken a knife, somebody, this isn't for everybody, but for somebody, I feel like the pain, like somebody has taken a knife and just stabbed you with it because this isn't what you expected. You you really put in a lot of effort and, and time and energy and love into this situation and tried to keep it together for so long, and now you've come to the point where it's time for me to face my fears. Because you're looking for balance. You're looking for something more. You're looking for somebody that's going to comp compromise and cooper cooperate. But the thing is, is that you can give it all the time in the world, all the patience in the world. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And like I said, there's destiny here. There's a change of course. When that Wheel of Fortune comes up, it means that you are about to go down a new road. A new road. A new chapter in your life. Because somebody, I don't think somebody has been reciprocating. Aha! Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And that's exactly what you've been doing. You've been trying. Trying, trying, trying. And there's no reciprocation. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. And I think that it is probably you. You don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe it. And like I said, you've been doing everything to make it work. Playfulness, you know, getting some new glue, doing everything, everything. But the fact of the matter is, it's not working out. Somebody is not telling the truth. Somebody's not accepting the truth. And for so somebody who's watching this, they are involved in a third party situation. And it's time to fly. And it's a, a very emotional time. I see a lot of very heavy, heavy heart here. Somebody has a very, very heavy, heavy heart. And you may be seeing yourself as the victim, but you're not the victim. Like I said, there's destiny here. With that Wheel of Fortune, this has happened for a reason. And it has it's happened for you to see what you're worth and so to see if you can love yourself enough to make the right choice okay fifth chakra archangel gabrielle and i am going to read that one that one is the th oh, i don't even need to read it that one is the uh being able to speak for up for yourself that is the throat chakra okay it is time for you to speak up. Speak on your own behalf. Speak your truth. When that card comes out, it is time for you to do the right thing for you. Use your voice. 
Use your voice. Master your emotions. Find the force within you. Put yourself in the driver's seat. And speak up for yourself. It's time. It's time for you to use your voice. Even if it shakes. Okay? So Cancer, I feel like um, if you're single, if you're single, I don't see I don't see new love coming in, and I'm sorry. I feel like you're still dealing with somebody in your past, and you haven't completely gotten over it yet. I feel like if you're single, you're still there emotionally, and you're very very hurt. Um, and you, it's time, it's time for you to realize that it's time for you to go down a new road to accept new love. Okay. If you are in a relationship, it could be falling apart. And I'm sorry to tell you that I really, really am. And you've been trying to do everything in your power to keep it together and they are not reciprocating. So that's what I have. Um, it's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to use your voice. You see the light on the throat chakra? It's time for you to use your voice. Even if it hurts. If you're single, here's another scenario. If you are single and you're trying to pursue somebody and they're not reciprocating, they probably have somebody else, and that's why they're not reciprocating. It's time for you to look in another direction. You're only deceiving yourself by trying to make something happen that isn't meant to be, okay? That's if you're single. I feel like some somebody who is single is trying to pursue somebody who who has more than, has several options, put it that way. And they aren't reciprocating because they're entertaining the other option. If you're coupled, it's the same kind of thing. It's like somebody isn't reciprocating because perhaps they're entertaining another option as well. Okay, it's time to fly. It's time for me to fly. Talk to you later. Oh, we want to get back to that question, huh? Remember the first two? One was recovery and one was in the next few something. I already put it away. This should all come to a head fairly soon and you will start to go through your recovery period. But let's do this one. Are you ready? You got your question in your head? What was it? What was your question? Big, happy changes. <coughs> I'm going to read that one to you. Just because oh, I got the wrong book. I mean, good things are on the way. That's basically what it means. But big, positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new path, entering a new relationship, or moving to a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events, knowing that your angels will be beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require you to take leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These options would not have presented themselves unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. Oh my God, before this, I was just telling you to release your fears. That's freaking amazing. It's true. Happiness awaits if you can accept the truth of the current situation and move forward. Don't deceive yourself. And don't let yourself be deceived because that's what's happening. That's what I got, Cancer. Talk to you next time.